ABC. Conklin and Company with 13 ABC Action News anchor Lee Conklin. First with what's happening behind the headlines. And take three, our panel of political analysts. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome into another edition of Conklin and Company. Coming up on the program today, the mayor set to deliver his State of the City address. That is Mayor Mike Bell in the state of Toledo. That's coming up tomorrow, but we'll talk about it in Take 3 a little bit later on this morning. The Take 3 panel will uh, preview that. Hillary Clinton grilled on the Benghazi attacks and fires back at some of the lawmakers doing the questioning, all that happening this past week. We're going to salute an organization that serves a ton of people in our community and talk about their big move. But first, new residents so to speak, and a new person in charge at the Toledo Zoo, but perhaps not so new anymore. The seventh executive director at the Toledo Zoo joins us on Conklin & Company. We, uh, we say good morning and welcome for the first time to Jeff Saylor. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It is uh, great to have you. We tried to get you back on at the end of summer when you first came mm -hmm. on board. It's, we couldn't work it out, but here you are as we get ready for the brand new year, or we're couple of weeks in now, uh, Jeff, and uh, coming off the lights before Christmas, which was what we understand uh, really a banner season. Yeah, it was a record year for us. Uh, we had 183,000 people. Uh, it was the best best year yet for lights. So we were really appreciative to everybody in Toledo and the surrounding areas coming in and supporting us. And Jeff, for, for all the people, uh, you know, first coming uh, to Conklin and Company just now and they're, and they're taking a look at Jeff Saylor, they, they don't know who you are. Ann Baker was in place for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Bill Denler for a long time before that. And uh, you're the seventh executive mm -hmm. director. Who is Jeff Saylor? <laughs> well, I, I grew up in the Midwest. I'm from Southern Indiana near, near Evansville. Uh, but I've been working in zoos now for nearly 12 years. I uh, worked at the Miami Metro Zoo, uh, worked at Central Park Zoo in New York, and now here at, uh, at Toledo Zoo, which is by and, by and far my favorite so far. Well, that's, you're saying the right things here, right? here in you Toledo, Ohio on Sunday morning, exactly. Jeff. Uh, you got, you got to be a business person and an animal person, mm -hmm. right? So uh, what would you, were animal person first? Oh, I mean, my background is in animals. You know, I started out uh, as a bird curator at the Miami Metro Zoo and then as a uh, curator of a more generalized collection at the Central Park Zoo. Uh, but it was there that I really began to get experience in the business sides uh, of the operations and, and became the director of, of that park. And, and I really find it uh, very, very interesting, you know, the, the business models involved and, and what you need to do to meet your mission, which in our case is inspiring people about wildlife and caring about nature. And, and, uh, and that's been very interesting to me, especially after sort of already having another career on the animal side right. of things. All right, so you come to this now from uh, New York City. Yeah. So uh, and it's interesting, the correlation, uh, Steve Madewell from the Metro Parks, who's an urban park mm -hmm. person coming to the Midwest in mm -hmm. Toledo. and. Uh, you, you know, you talked about Central Park, mm -hmm. uh, and a couple of other entities as well that you were overseeing. Yeah, I, I actually was uh, overseeing the Central Park Zoo, the Prospect Park Zoo, and the Queen Zoo uh, within New York City, and the three what we called the city zoos. Are there any parallels York. to the Toledo Zoo and what you were, what you're deal dealing with there? I mean, there's the the day-to-day -day ins and outs of running a zoo, but in a lot of ways, um, while the Central Park Zoo. Most of the, of the visitors there were tourists who were coming to New York, and we were very much a, a tourist-oriented mm -hmm. zoo. I mean, we had a lot of very, um, very dedicated members from the community, but it was much different sort of demographic than what we have here in Toledo, and and that's really one of the one of the things that drew me to this community is it's a community zoo, mm -hmm. and people love it. I mean, you can't go anywhere in this town that you don't hear we, we love our zoo, right. and I really think we do a lot for the community. We have a lot to offer. Uh, and the support we get from the community is just fantastic. You know, this video is from uh, days gone by when it was a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. I believe, and we'll have those days again. <laughs> but one thing uh, I've noticed over the years, uh, Jeff, as the zoo's evolved and grown, mm -hmm. is that wintertime is not downtime anymore. No. I mean, the, the winter's very important to the Toledo Zoo. Okay. No. Explain uh, why, why that has, uh, it has progressed to become that. Well, part of it is just the the ever uh, <laughs> the ever growing need to make sure that you're sustainable, mm -hmm. you know, from your business model and being able to meet all your needs. Uh, but also, there's just a lot to to offer. You know, we have our lights before Christmas, mm -hmm. which is just a fantastic event that goes over six, seven. One of the weeks. one of the most important times of the year, really. Yeah, right? yeah, it yeah. Be. It's about this year. It accounted for about twenty percent of our mm -hmm. of our attendance. You know, in a six week period of time, uh, which was just fantastic. It's a lot of the budget. A lot of the budget, yeah. um, but at the same time, we see a lot of our members 
taking advantage of that. So it's really just a great time to be able to sort of give back to our to our members and to and to the people of Lucas County and, and surrounding areas. And I know a lot of people have told me they've been coming, you know, year after year after right. year. So it's really a tradition uh, within Toledo and, and the and the surrounding uh, towns. And you so. draw so many people, you go to the parking lot and you do so many, well, either parking mm -hmm. lot, but you, it's so many people from the state of Michigan. It's, yeah. it's really unbelievable the, the visitors you get from, from north of the border. Yeah, it's interesting. We get about 30% of our annual attendance from Michigan and about 30% of our members are from Michigan mm -hmm. as well, uh, which is really interesting. But we're, we're drawing from a, a really large sort of radius around Toledo. Uh, I've done a couple of meet and greets at the zoo and we've run into f uh, visitors from Cleveland, from Grand Rapids, from north of Detroit, from Indiana. I mean, they're just coming right. from all over because this zoo really is a gem in this community, and it's a very well-known park with, within the United States. And I think we all recognize that. The people who are here recognize how important it is mm -hmm. um, to our community. And, and you talked about sustainability. Mm -hmm. And there, are, do you feel like there always has to be something that creates a new buzz? There, uh, there was the African savanna. There, you know, there might be the polar bears. Now you've got some polar bear.